so far you might have already known that uh, today's video is all about why i rejected morgan stanley now the topic is not why i rejected morgan stanley the topic is why i rejected morgan stanley and what what the f So far you might have already known from the title itself and looking at my background that uh, this video is all about why I left or why I rejected Morgan Stanley. But before talking about this topic, let me talk, uh, let me, let me share you some experiences of what was happening way back when I got this offer and why I rejected it so that you have a better understanding on prioritizing tasks and prioritizing your life goals. So this is one of my untold story. Uh, this is one of my stories which uh, very few people knew about it. Uh, I think I, I think only my wife knew about it and one or two friends. That's it. Neither my parents knew about it nor uh, nor a lot of people knew about it. So today I'm going to disclose one of my untold secrets of my life that yes, I did had an offer. Uh, in one of the world's largest investment bank but I, I, I simply rejected it because of some circumstances now now well Morgan Stanley uh, some people might be thinking Morgan Stanley is not that big as compared to fan companies as compared to Facebook Google Amazon and Netflix but to be very honest Morgan Stanley is one of the biggest investment bank companies and a lot of people dream to job uh, work there. So uh, when I talk about investment bankings, there are very big giant companies like JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, Deutsche Bank. So these are some companies where people crave to work because they know that these are one of the giant companies. So I do had an offer, but I, I couldn't take that offer because of some reason. So I'll take you back to 2015 or 16 where I started my journey into data science. So many of you might be knowing that I come from a Java background. So my career started in 2011, where I started working from Amdocs, which is a, a telecom giant company based out in Pune. Its headquarters was in Israel. Now in 2015, I did a, I did a what do we call? We call it as IJP, inter, internal job posting. So I did a IJP movement to another team in Amdocs and that team was basically support team where uh, they were working on some data analytics activities and some dashboard creations. Back then we were not using Tableau or Power BI. We were creating our own dashboards using uh, JavaScript or something. I don't remember exactly which tech stacks we were using, but yes, that was my first experience into data science and uh, data analytics. To be very honest, I was not aware that what I'm doing is machine learning. I, I was working on linear regression models. I was working on some uh, decision tree classifier models and all those things. But I literally didn't knew that this is machine learning. This is AI, this is data science. Now, in 2016, I started looking out for jobs as a full timer data scientist because my role in Amdocs was software engineer from software engineer i i kind of uh, uh, back then in 2015 i i guess i was a software engineering team lead where i was managing a team i was leading a team uh, on paper my job role was software engineering team lead but yes i was working some bits and pieces i was working on data analytics and some little bit of automation ml aut automations and all those things and that's where i started my journey I looked out for jobs because uh, in 2016 I was married. My wife was staying in Bangalore and I was staying in Pune. So that's where I started looking out for a job in Bangalore. And uh, while my search, I got four to five different offers. One was from Zorient, uh, one was from uh, J. Uh, I think one was from Morgan Stanley. JP Morgan I got but I got it uh, maybe after one year or something so I had that offer from Morgan Stanley and I also had an offer from British Telecom now well my experience was more into the software engineering side but my interest was into the data science area so 
my primary focus of getting a job was into data science or related areas it could be data analytics data science machine learning i was like open for anything but related to this area it was 2016 now i got three job offers zorient was basically hiring for a java developer like a senior java developer and i had a java experience similarly morgan stanley also offered me the same kind of tech stacks they wanted a java developer plus machine learning engineer so basically they called me that your major work will be in java and you will also be working with machine learning but i got a full time data scientist opportunity with british telecom so british telecom offered me data scientist roles it was kind of the official job role given by british telecom was analyst slash professional but uh, they they told me that you're going to work on data science activities on machine learning and all those things so this is where i got my offer from morgan stanley but i had to reject it because i wanted to pursue my career in data science so the main idea here is you might also get these kind of opportunities in your life so as a candidate the first thing which you need to think about is going to be your your life goals is your life goal for example you get a job offer in facebook into software testing and you get a job offer in a small xyz company as a data scientist and your passion is following data science you want to become a data scientist so it's your call whether you want to go for the big brand with a lower job skill or with another option or to go as go as a data scientist in another organization which is not that famous as facebook so it's going to be your call so it all depends on person to person individuals to individuals my call was simply clear i wanted to become a data scientist i wanted to get into this industry learn more things and that was the reason i jumped into british telecom and that's where my official journey into data science started i got to know about a lot of topics i wo- i was exposed to a lot of topics in british telecom i did a lot of pocs because i was kind of the first hire in the team i was uh, managed by one guy who was also keen to work in data science so he and me basically started doing a lot of pocs lot of activities currently uh, even though he is working in another company i am working in another company we both are still working on various research based projects that's a separate topic but yeah in british telecom we worked on various use cases like at least 7 to 8 different pocs and my learning was immense i learned a lot in 2 years and that's where i i switched my job and i got a job in hong kong uh well how did i got a job in hong kong and all those things could probably be discussed in another video but this was my story about why i rejected morgan stanley and how did i get that job so in case you have any questions anything if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel comment down in the comment section below in case you want uh, any kind of uh, videos related to a specific topic which you are not able to get from any other youtube channels ping me because there are so many i i have so many requests right now at least 16 17 requests are already pending people have requested me do a video on this on that i'm currently working on it but i'm kind of enjoying this kind of interaction videos so that's it for this particular video if you like it please like share and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye